Hey adventurers! So today is kind of a fun video. We saw this video idea, or I saw this video idea, um, I don't remember when, a couple weeks ago, and I was like, oh, this sounds like a fun idea. I think we should do it. So, and it is a book tag, so it is the Intimidating TBR book, book tag. tag. In case and, you didn't know by the thumbnail. <laughs> yeah. So we're, we're excited to do this. It's going to be kind of fun, and it's going to be kind of a little bit interesting and a little bit different. So, Which book on your TBR pile have you not finished? So... Because of the way that I read, and that I only read one book at a time, I don't really have a book on my TBR list that I haven't finished. The only one that I could realistically say that about is Catching Fire, because that's the book that I'm currently reading. So I'm a little different. I am Right now I'm trying to read one book at a time because I do end up with stacks and stacks of unfinished books. But that's frustrating to me because I don't like to leave books unfinished. So right now I'm reading two books. I'm reading Fail State as you can see behind me, and I also have All Things Bright and Beautiful on my list. Um, this is, I'm halfway through it, I'm kind of picking it up as I go. It's just one of those books I want to take really slowly, so I'm allowing myself that liberty. What is a book you haven't had the time to read? So, as much as I love Tolkien, and for the past three years that I've had this book, I haven't been able to get to it because I've been reading other books, and that is Tales from the Perilous Realm, which is kind of and kind of isn't part of the world of Lord of the Rings, um, Middle Earth, I guess, and it is in that there's stories like the tales from, uh, what are they? Adventures of Tom Bombadil, that's what it's called. And then there's some other ones that are Rove Random is a Tales from the Perilous Realm, I believe. And so, so it is and isn't part of his, uh, Legendarium, I guess is what it's called. So I haven't been able, I haven't had time to read that one yet, and I really want to. So the book on my list would be The Rangers Apprentice book one. I've actually started this book. I have the digital copy. Um, certain times in my life it's hard for me to read a digital book and that's kind of where I'm at right now. So that's definitely a book that I'm interested in reading and want to finish. I just haven't had time to sit down and do that. What book have you not read because it is a sequel? So The Wheel of Time book three. I own it but I can't read it because I haven't read book one or book two, which I don't own book two. Um, that Book three is The Dragon Reborn. For me, it is the second book in the Maze Runner series, which is, I believe it's called The Death Cure. And this is a book, when I finished The Maze Runner, I was not interested in picking up the second book at all. I was done. I was a little frustrated with the ending. I didn't know how to take it. And so that's a big part of why I haven't started it. It's just, it didn't interest me at that time. Do you have a book you haven't read because it is brand new? So the book that I have that I actually own that's brand new and I haven't read it yet is The Ballad of Songbirds and Snakes. Um, this is the prequel to the Hunger Games series and I do actually want to read it but I can't read it yet because I'm trying to reread the entire Hunger Games series and I'm only on book two as you can see. So as far as new releases go, the book that I would say is Rook de Goo. And this is a book I've seen around on the Bookstagram, the book Instagram writing community. I don't know if it's a self-pub or if it's just a, a lesser known author, but it's something that I've heard a lot of hype about, seen a lot of really good things about, and I'm definitely interested in reading it. Do you actually own it? No. Rook de Goo is written by Jenny Sauer. Have you got a book by an author you read before but didn't really like? I can't honestly say that I do. Um... I generally don't buy books that I don't like or and I haven't read enough different authors to know if I like their books or not so no I don't think I do. Kind of in the same boat there I don't think I have a book that I've read a book by the same author that I didn't like that's kind of a confusing question. It is. But no I don't think I do. Yeah. Is there a book in your TBR pile that you're not in the mood to read? For me this would be Dune. Other than War of the Worlds, I have yet to find a science fiction book that I have really enjoyed. It's just the way it is. So I'm not really in the mood to read Dune. I want to because it's supposedly amazing, but I just, I'm never in the mood for it. And we don't, we also don't own the book. So, so the book for me would be A Wind in the Door by Madeleine Le Ingle. This is actually another book that could fall in the sequels section. Um, it's, I'm not in the mood for it, it's a sequel to A Wrinkle in Time, part of the Time Quartet, and I'm just, I have the book, and I'm just not excited to open it up again, even though I've heard some good things about it. 
I forgot that we had it and I'm excited for it. <laughs> Anyways. What book have you put off reading because it is huge? Um, I can't really say that I have a book that I have put off because it's really huge anymore. And that is mostly due to the fact that I have now read the first and second book in the Stormlight Archives and those are about the biggest books I own. So not really. I would say Lord of the Rings, the whole entire series, is that one book? It's technically, technically one book split yeah. into three books and then sub books and six, inside. six parts. Anyhow, that's definitely a series that's intimidating to me because I it's a hard genre for me and the writing style is hard for me to enjoy, Tolkien's writing style. So Lord of the Rings is definitely one of those. And then also War and Peace. And I have no idea what War and Peace is about. I've just wanted to be that person who could say I've read War and Peace. So, but it's very large and I don't have any appeal to it. So those would be the ones for me. Do you have a TBR book that you mostly bought because of the cover? I can't say that I do. And the reason why is because I haven't bought that many books yet. There are some that I have seen the cover and, and have been like, ooh, I want to buy that book, that cover is amazing. <laughs> but I haven't done any yet. The last time I went book shopping was at a thrift store, and I didn't have any specific books in mind that I was looking for, but I had looked at some a lot of authors and different various books before I went to the thrift store. So I ended up looking through uh, mostly authors' names and pulling out books and then reading the synopsis, that type of thing. But one book that I pulled out I hadn't read a whole lot about was Aragon by Christopher Paolini, and that was a book that I really liked. The, the cover it the cover drew me in, and that's what appealed to me. And I think that's a big portion of why I bought it. And then I went home and did a bunch of research on Christopher Paolini, and I'm really excited to read that now. Which book in your TBR do you find most intimidating? So, I debated between the three books and I decided on this one and I decided on the Iliad for this one. There's also, I mean, the books that I was debating between were the Odyssey, the Iliad, and the Aeneid. I don't know which one is which. I don't know which one tells which story or which one is the whole entire thing or anything. So I just put the Iliad on there. And as much as I love Greek and Roman mythology and as much as I want to read this story, it's scary to me. Like, it's one of the only books that I'm genuinely scared to read. <laughs> because of how difficult and how large it is combined. A book that I find intimidating is Jurassic Park by Michael Creighton. Right? <laughs> Crichton. Crichton? I don't know. Crichton. Anyways. The reason this is intimidating is mostly because I'm not sure if I'm going to enjoy it. I'm not sure if it's the type of book I'll enjoy. It's a little bit of a hefty looking book, even though I feel like the font is large, so I should relax a little bit. But yeah, that one's on my TBR, rapidly approaching, and I'm a little nervous about it. I'm a little, I'm a little intimidated. I'm afraid I'm gonna get into it, and I'm it's like walking into a mud puddle or something. I'll find out, I guess. So that's it for the nine questions that were part of this book tag. We'd love to know your thoughts about this and our questions, and what you're feeling about some of these intimidating questions. Yeah, thanks for watching, guys. We try to post videos every Monday and Thursday, so feel free to come back and check us out any of the, either of those days. Thanks for watching, guys. Stay well.